good day to you. Welcome to Herman Manyora's YouTube channel. My name is Jadil Kabira, production by Nairobi Review. We usually tell you if you have a production, that you, if you have an event that you'd like to be covered, you can talk to us, Nairobi Review Limited at gmail.com or hit up the numbers that are down on the description. We also do shooting for content creators. If you have something that you'd like to say, you'd like to share out with the world, don't, don't, don't struggle looking for production company. We are here, we have cameras, we have cameramen, we have good sound as you can hear. This is us, Nairobi Review. This is our usual political conversations with Herman Manyora, very simple, truthful, and biased. I hope you'll put them across today in a hard heating way. Correct. How are you doing? Wonderful. It's a beautiful Friday. Started off with some heat between Raila Odinga and Deputy President, Will, uh, President William Ruto, actually. The conversation is on the ouster of the four commissioners, including Juliana Cherera, causing quite a stir. Tell me first, is this the right time to talk about the, what happened in the election and what specifically should their role have been if they are being called, uh, if, they, if, they, if, they are, if they want to kick them out simply because they did not agree, they called the election uh, results as opaque, the, the process of it. Churchill, Winston Churchill yeah. said, in victory, when you are the victor, you must be magnanimous. I think Churchill had looked at history. He was not just talking out of turn. Mm. He had studied history, I think. Mm. If you look at history, men who get to power and set out revenge always lose big in the end. Mm. That uh, revenge is for the weak. The strong rarely revenge. They let you watch and see how useless you are. Mm -hmm. If these four commissioners had attempted to stop Ruto mm. or to subvert the will of the Kenyan people, as we are being told, mm. why not just ignore them? Just ignore them. Because you are president. Isn't because there is no way you'll convince Kenyans, mm. even before this street, there's no way you can convince Kenyans that this is not a revenge mission. You can't. And then thinking Kenyan, whether right or wrong, will believe this is revenge. And the revenge is for the weak. Until if you look at history, yeah. the history of kingdoms and what have you, mm. any king who came to power and sought to finish his, his opponents or his people, people who are stood in his way, mm. they never succeeded in the long run. Yeah. In the short term, you might think you are succeeding. You could even expand your kingdom. But finally, those who rule by the sword die by the sword. The isn't Bible, little, not me. Isn't that a that is harsh. the Bible, not me. It is the Bible, the Bible not true, me. but uh, uh, you can, uh, the context now, no, according no, no, to yeah. Ruto, these are rogue officials. Let me read for you what he wrote on Twitter. The Lords of Impunity who destroyed oversight institutions using the handshake fraud should allow Parliament to hold rogue officials who put the nation in danger by subverting the democratic will of the people to be held to account. New order is rule of law, not wishes of big men. You say... You live by the sword, you die by the sword. But yes. for Ruto, these are rogue officials probably who live you know, by the sword. As you know me, I, I look at things with very neutral eyes. Mm. So I can see better than Ruto can see these things. Uh, if you say rogue, you're already, you're already prejudging them. Okay. And if you look at the process of mm. removal, there's a role the president plays. So, uh, so what, what fairness will Chirela and the team get if the president already says they are wrong? Mm. He has already prejudged them. So even the process is a waste of time. So I would even ask them just to resign. Because how, if the president says you are subverting the will of the people, these are wrong commissioners, how then can you submit yourself to the process in which the president is very instrumental? How, how instrumental is the president now constitutionally? Because some say constitutionally, he can see what he wants. He's not in the... How, uh, how, how do they get removed? <laughs> the, 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 the jailer committee will... Then uh, will then do what? Will, be another, will, will come up with... A, will do the hearing, then, come out with findings. And, and then, then recommend... That, recommend to, to the, the president... To do what? <laughs> to form a tribunal. <laughs> to form a tribunal. Do we need to continue beyond that? So you, If I want you nail. Yeah. and have the power to constitute the bench. See, I just nail you because the people I'll put in the tribunal mm. will be people who will find you guilty. So the whole process is already flawed. And that's why I'm saying the president and our leaders ought to be getting advice from serious advisors. Mm. That process, ab initio, is a fraud. It's a flawed already. 
Because the man in charge of the process has already prejudged the four commissioners. So why would they submit themselves to the process? You, it's a waste of time. What is the fate of these uh, commissioners? From your reading, your advice is to fate, resign. They, their fate is sealed. It's already sealed. sealed. If the president says, calls them rogue commissioners, they were out to subvert the rule of the people. Mm. So what, what, what fairness can they expect from the process? You agree with Raila's response to Ruto, there is due process and natural justice. Things aren't just done at the whims of the executive. The rule of law must prevail and not your, and not your jungle laws uh, that, you want to be that you want to institute so as to subjugate Kenyans to a conveyor belt system of elections come 2027. We shall not relent. According to Raila said, things will not end well. That's what Raila tweeted. Is this what we're going to see in the next couple of months? Because Kalonzo was actually saying Kenyans might not go for Christmas as they expect. They might be on the streets. Allow me at this early point to point out, say this, neither Raila nor Ruto are doing us any good. Mm. This, this I must say, because... Even Raila... You, the country has, must have one or two people who can say the truth. I want to be counted among the few people who can tell the country the truth. Mm. What Raila and Ruto are doing is playing with fire. My What's humble, innocent yeah. observation. They are playing with fire, both of them. What's the fire in this context? The fire, you can see it. You have said what Kalonzo has said. And I've said, don't take that as an empty threat. Raila says, what I'm saying is this well. for the president, let him avoid actions that show him as being vindictive. Let him avoid actions that portray him as being out to revenge. Mm. Let the president avoid actions that have this perception of him controlling certain institutions. Because this process will be a process managed by parliament. You have already told parliament these commissioners are wrong. Mm. This process will be managed by a tribunal. You are already telling that tribunal, even before it is formed, that these guys must go home. Let him avoid doing things, uh, including the speed with which people are being released by the judi judiciary. So people are beginning to think that the president is kind of directly controlling certain institutions. Perception. Mm. I know English. And I'm not saying he's doing that. I'm saying perception. I want, on the one hand, I want the president to avoid that. On the other hand, I want Raila to know that the president can make a few mistakes. The president is a, a junior politician compared to Raila Odinga. The president is in his first hundred days of handling power. And he could make a few mistakes. Raila is a seasoned politician. And he should know that if he were to react to everything the president says, this country could go up in flames. That's what I wanted you to expound yeah, on. Because yeah. you say he's playing with fire. Both, both of, them. of them are playing with fire. And you're, you're on record saying Kenyans will go on the streets. Kenyans it's possible. It's will very go easy. On the street. What, how, should we, how should Raila then deal with it so that he doesn't play with fire when he looks at this institution, which you say perception is the president is taking us back to the Moi era? I have said what the president should do is to avoid doing things that leave people concluding, rightly or wrongly that he's, uh, he's uh, micromanaging certain institutions that are critical, like the judiciary, that is out for revenge, okay? Yeah. Uh, that he wants to fix certain people and certain institutions. He should avoid that. Mm. On the other hand, Raila ought to behave like, in this context, the bigger brother. So your younger brother is making a few mistakes. If you are to react in a very natural reaction, mm. the country could get so. I want Raila to calibrate his reactions. But, you know, I'm finding it difficult to get yes. you because how would you do that if it's, I think, Rigadi Gashagwa, mm. who said they cannot listen to Raila. Yes. He's the one that caused the mess last, uh, in the last regime. How should Raila respond if they don't want to listen to him? What I'm trying to think is Raila should sit down with his people and figure out if things are not going well, first of all, can we give Ruto sufficient time for him to actualize what he wants to? He has asked for a year. Can you give him? Now, that is not weak. Because in that one year, if, if Ruto succeeds, Kenyans will be happy, including Raila himself. Mm. 
If he doesn't succeed, the rope with which he will hang himself will have become even longer. Mm. <laughs> so he will hang himself so, with the rope. Yeah. Yes. One year is enough for Ruto to hang himself so with the rope. One day dangerous for. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Listen. One year is enough. Listen. Yeah. No. One year is enough. Eh? So. And while Ruto is being given one year, Raila should be figuring out with his team. In the event Ruto seems to be taking the country backwards in terms of democracy, human rights, and everything, mm. and in terms of the economic hardships, he's, doing, he's not doing enough. Kenyans are suffering. How can we manage the situation and manage Ruto without engaging in civil, civil strife, without mass action? Mm. Is there a way we can manage Ruto without mass action? Why I say mass action is not good? We, we went through it. Excuse me, I've lived in this country long enough to have seen those things. Mm. And that was then. If you witnessed two events. One, when Raila came from sabbatical and the people went to meet him at the airport. Yeah. Baba went and there were away. police. There was police presence. Yeah. With those ugly things we used to see from South Africa. Dispensing not water, but some funny water, dirty liquid. With the pili pili kikwang. Some say it's itchy. And the people were facing those things. There's that iconic picture of a man with a Kenyan flag on Jogorod. And we were told we could be wrong, but people were there with the knives and what, dealing with people, including doing certain things that go in a circular way on them. But people were there. And they escorted Raila all the way to town. That's number one. The second thing, and so when I talk about fire, I know what I'm talking about. The second thing was the Raila swearing in. I was on N -Li M Live with Miguna Miguna. <laughs> yeah. We were watching from the studio as people were going to the stadium. I told Miguna, you are wasting your time. We, nobody can go to that stadium because that is sure death. Mm. I left NTV and I was I headed straight to Citizen TV. When I got Citizen TV, the crowd was beginning to emerge, to, to, to converge. And then, I listened very carefully. Shortly after that, airwaves were dis disabled. The government closed TV stations. You couldn't watch anything. But through YouTube, we were able to see what's going on in real time. In real time. The field was, the, 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 the Hurpak, Hurpak was filled with hundreds of thousands of people. The danger notwithstanding. One man epitomizes what I'm talking about. A man says, said, I have three girls. I don't have a boy. I have come all the way from Western. Nimegawa Maliangu. I have told my wife, this belongs to this girl, this, to my children. I don't know if there was a boy or something like that. I'm ready to die. And that's why that field was full. That Hurupak was filled. Even Mdavadi says to go there, you are, you are seeking yeah, death. They didn't even go. They didn't go with the Kaloza. How about that after Kifo? What am I trying to get at? Today, when you see demonstrations, you see young men, even students, returning tear gas to the police. They're not running away. There were days one tear gas could disperse a crowd of 20,000 people. So the people are becoming bolder, bolder and bolder. So if you have a, a huge population of people who have nothing to lose, who have nothing to lose, the country can go in the wrong direction. And that's why I advise Raila not to go in that direction. It is playing with fire. He should not necessarily, like I said with the issue of the police, mm. because Ruto had acted in a certain, in a certain manner over SSSU and the DCI, including Kinoti and those four. Yeah. It was not good for Raila to, over react, to react on the same. Yeah. Because you create a, a situation that is also dangerous for security. Mm. Likewise, I advise the president not to go in some of these in, the, in some of these directions is heading. They are counterproductive. But equal measure, ask Raila, you are a more seasoned politician. You understand the country better. You understand politics better. Do not be quick to act. Because to put it in black and white, mm. if Raila wants demonstrations in this town, mm. 
that can bring the country to a standstill. It won't take a week. No, fi finally you... And it won't be in the interest of anybody, not even Raila himself. Yeah. <laughs> you, you usually say that uh, the president knows much better than the citizens. You've yeah. called Ruto, not just Ruto, but the head of state and our president. Yes. We should Raila give him time because maybe he knows what he's doing when it comes to the DCI, when it comes to, yeah. you know... It's good to give him time. Uh, what is happening with the no, commissioners? Give him, time. give him time. One year is nothing. We will be. We will be here. Where are we going? But one day is. Inshallah, we will be alive. One day is long enough to, to to make things. But I have not done. I have not wrong. seen anything the president has done to warrant emergency reaction. Yeah. You know, mm. he has not taken Raila or Manyora and put them in detention. He has not the the. the the government has gone, not, not gone out to curtail anybody's freedom. The government has not killed anybody. So I'm not seeing the emergency. Uh, for Christmas, for this. For ah, this no, month. let people enjoy their Christmas and give root another nine months. Or, what is it? Give him ten months to own the villa and I to Mwambea. Mimi, I'm always praying for him. I want the president to succeed. The president succeeding is for me to succeed. It's for my grandchildren to succeed. That's all we want. And for my children too. Yes. In true. the future. And here we do talk again. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this conversation, please subscribe, share, so that as many people can watch them and engage in a conversation to build this country. Until we do talk again, have yourself a lovely rest of your day. <laughs>